Hello, and welcome to your immersive media adventure. In this video, we will be learning how to use Inkle Writer to create interactive, branching narrative stories. Inkle Writer is a free software available for students and teachers everywhere. To access Inkle Writer, go to the website inklewriter.com. From this homepage, you need to create an account. So go ahead and click on the sign in button. Now, if you have an email, you can create an account uh, with an email and a password by clicking on create new account and entering your email and password. What's great about Inkle Writer is you actually don't need an email address. Let's say you want to create an account without an email address. Here's what you do. Enter in a username. Mine will be philos23. And then instead of an email address handle, do at inklewriter.com. This will serve as your username. Don't forget this. Make sure to write this down. And then your password could be whatever you want it to be. Remember to keep track of your email and password. You will need these to access your stories. Once you have these, you can click register. Okay. So this is the Inkle Writer dashboard. If you want to create a new story, you can click on new. If you want to open an existing story, you can click open. Um, there's ways to import material. There's tutorials that will teach you how Inkle Writer works. And then these tabs over here are for your individual story. Um, the write mode is where you add information to your story. The read mode is where you can see what your story will look like. Let's go back to the write mode. Let's name our story. Are you happy or sad? We'll put our name here. And here is where we can start entering any text that we want. So how should we begin our story? Hello. Welcome to my story. First, answer this question. Are you happy or sad? The cool thing about Inkle Writer is it's not like an ordinary story or book. Your reader actually has choices. So here, your reader could choose, I'll add an option, I am happy. And I'll also add another option that says, I am sad. Right now, your reader has two choices. You could add another option for a third choice. So what happens when your reader clicks on I am happy? Well, you can add the next part of your story by clicking on this arrow. When the reader clicks on I am happy, you can say, awesome. It's great that you feel happy. Smiley face. And then maybe we'll add another option. This time we'll just include one choice that says, Go to ending. So again, your reader clicked on I am happy. They see awesome. It's great that you feel happy. And then they can click on go to ending. And then we'll create a final slide that says the end. But what about that other link? If we go up here in red, we can see one link, one loose end. That means I haven't put any choices or options after the I am sad button. So let's click these back arrows. We're back at our original choice. We can see this arrow for I am happy is filled in because we filled in a choice there. I am sad has this dotted arrow. That means there's no information there yet. So here, let's click on I am sad. We can add a part of the story for this. I am sorry you feel that way. I hope this cheers you up. 
Along with this, let's also add an image. Adding images in Inkle Writer is easy. All you have to do is go to Google Images. Here I will search for a kitten. Kittens usually cheer people up. And because we're going to be publishing this to the internet, we actually want to use images that are free use. So click on Tools. Under Usage Rights, go to Labeled for Reuse. I'll choose maybe this kitten here, this orange kitten. I'll right click on it and I will copy the image address. And now that I'm back in Inkle Writer, I can actually insert that image by clicking on the image button down here. I'll paste that image address. I can see it appear up here and click use. So again, the reader clicks on I am sad. They see this kitten. We see I am sorry you feel that way. I hope this cheers you up. I could add another option. We'll call this one go to the end. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow. Now, my stories went different directions, but I want them to meet up in the same place. And the way to do that is to make this go to the end, meet up to the other go to the end section, is to click on join to an existing paragraph. And here I see all of these sections that I previously created. The one I want to go to is the end. So let's click the back arrow and see what this looks like. Your first question, hello, welcome to my story. First answer this question, are you happy or are you sad? They have two choices, I am happy. Awesome, it's great that you feel happy. That takes them to the end. Similarly, they could choose I am sad, and they get a different response, and then we could go to the end again. Now, we can also view this in the read mode. If I click these back arrows, this is what's going to look like to your reader. It has this nice storybook look. I am sad. Great. And the other feature I really like is the map function. So this shows you all of the possible choices that can happen in your story. So maybe you have, your first question has three choices. And instead of just two options here, there's a third option. So that's how Inkle Writer works. Um, your story automatically saves, so make sure you remember your username and password because you'll be adding to your story throughout this class. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Good luck on your own Inkle Writer story.